In this video, we're talking directories. Why are we talking directories? Well, I recently ran a poll over in my school community. Let's take a look. So this is the poll and I asked, what's your biggest challenge with SEO and AI right now? If you have a look at the results, the second most voted challenge was getting Lovable or Bolt to build a production ready app to make money. So today I'm gonna to show you how to build a production ready app and we're going to use lovable and we're going to build a directory so there are a bunch of directories out there i thought we would build a ai tools directory there are a few that i have used in the past a couple of them are toolify.ai there's this one here ai explorer and also the rundown which is a really good tools directory it was probably one of the first ones that came online as ai sort of boomed these sites get a huge amount of traffic if we go into semrush we can see that for toolify.ai they're running at around 123,000 organic clicks a month. For AI Explorer, just under that, we're around 80,000. And for the rundown, getting close to 50, so 45, 50,000 clicks a month. Okay, so how am I going to go about this? Well, I'm going to use Claude to generate a project requirements document. I've written a bit of a prompt here. I've got, I'm planning to build an AI tools directory called tools.ai. Can you draft a PRD based on the screenshots attached? So I'm going to grab the screenshots based on the, the rundowns directory, and then we'll submit this, get the PRD, chuck it over into Lovable, and we will build it. Just go over to the rundown. You can take a screenshot of this hero section first. Then we'll take a screenshot of this grid. All right, so let's get our PRD. Okay, I'm just gonna copy this, go to Lovable. I'm gonna paste this in and let's see if it can get pretty close to our first build in one hit. And there we go. So we got a build unsuccessful. Not sure what's happened here, but it looks like it's gonna render out. So I'm just gonna ask it to fix the error and render the app. Okay, so this is the first build of the app. Let's take a quick look around and see what's working. With this filter here, it looks fairly extensive. It's actually taken all the filters we had listed over in the runway here. So that is looking like it's come in okay. Now, if I click on, say, design, we can see it filters it down straight away. Mid-Journey and Canva. If we go to marketing, Jasper, Copy AI, agents, ChatGPT. So the filtering is looking pretty good. Now, keep in mind, this has got no back end, no admin. What you could do with this app, if you didn't want to, put the back end onto it. If you had a bunch of these AI applications and they had affiliate links, you could actually leave it at that. So if someone clicks on it, for instance, click on Jasper, that's your affiliate link, you've got the lead straight up. So that would be one option, but I'm gonna show you how you can build this out even further. So when we click on one of these cards, we get a page open with more details about the app itself. And also we want to actually have a back end on it. We want to have an admin panel where we can see the listing of all the tools. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually give it the instruction to create pages for each time one of these is clicked on. And I'll give it some instructions and guidance based on what the, the rundown directory does. So if we go up to the rundown here and I type in say Canva, Canva's here so I can click on it and I can give a screenshot of this to Lovable and say, you know, create this type of page. So I'm just saying here, when a user clicks on a tool card in the directory, this should open a new page. For example, if the, the user clicks on the page similar to Canva, it would look like what's attached. So we'll see if it can do this. I think that's done. So if we click on, say, Canva, go to Design, Canva, let's see what we get. And there we go. So we have our, our image. It's a design platform with AI features, tool details, category design. There is the link. Open it. Once we have a back end in this, some of these details we can enter in or edit and modify. At the moment, it's all placeholder data, if you like. But this is coming along pretty good. Now, if you're enjoying this video and you want to take your AI coding to the next level, make sure you check out the first link in the description, which will bring you here to the Online Ninja community, where you get unlimited free tech support, plus access to all my tools and resources to help you grow online. So now it's time to do the back end. 
We're going to be using Superbase. It integrates natively with Lovable, so it makes it pretty easy. So if you go up to the top and click on the Superbase icon, and then just click on this question mark, I want to point this out because there is a lot of really useful information that Lovable gives you. It gives you an overview of Superbase, basically what it does and why you should use it. If you go down a little bit, it gives you the video getting started, connecting Superbase to Lovable. It also shows you how to add user authentication, which is the basic email and password. I'm going to be setting that up shortly. And it also goes through social logins. So this is login with Google, login with GitHub, login with Facebook. And while we're on this page, you'll also notice a couple of things. This is where you can add a feature request. This is where you can see how to do your Stripe integration your resend integration, and a bunch of other integrations if you want to check that out. All right, so if you don't already have a Superbase account, just head to superbase.com, create an account, and then we can add a new project. And also worth noting that your first two Superbase projects are totally free. So when you've created your Superbase account, just go on to create a new project. You'll be asked to enter a name, so I've just got tools here. The database password, I use generate a password. For the region, just select a region that's close to you or stay with the default. And you'll notice down the bottom here, it says $10 a month. That probably won't apply to you if this is your first or second project. It's only $10 a month for me because I've got multiple projects in here. So with that done, I can just go to create new project. After that's done, it might show you a few different keys and security keys. That's okay. You don't need to copy those down because Lovable will grab them automatically once we connect the project. But what we do need to do is go over into authentication. So just over on the left side, authentication, sign in providers, email is enabled, but we want to turn this off, confirm email. So we'll turn this off while we're building it so we don't have to go and click on verify an email to, to log in. But with that done, save changes, we should be good. So we can go back over into Lovable and up the top here with a bit of luck, I can connect this new project. So connect a Superbase, it says project not connected. So then you just select your project and connect it up. And when you've done, you'll see that you have your project name here like tools and over on the left side, you'll see project with the green dot connected. So we're all synced up. Now we can move on to the next step. Now, what you'll notice is as soon as you've connected up Superbase, It'll say you can do extra things like add your user accounts and login and store and use real data. So that's what we want to do. I've added a, a new prompt down the bottom here. So we're going to add Superbase authentication using email and password. And then we're going to build an admin only page that allow us to update, add, revise our application listings. So we're going to replace the placeholder data with real data that's in the database. So I'm going to run this and see if we can get that done. Okay, so we can see over here now that the database schema has been set up. So we've got a tools table, user profiles, and role-based access. We also have an admin dashboard. The mock data has been moved over to Superbase, and we have user roles. So in theory, we should be able to sign in. So if I click on sign in, sign in or sign up. Now, because I turned off email verification, I can just add in any old email at all, which is kind of handy. Okay, so we're authenticated. You can see up the top here, we've got this authentication showing. Now, if we take a look back over on the left-hand side here, it says to test the admin functionality, you need to manually set the user with the permissions admin. So we can do that. If we go back over into Superbase now, you can see in this authentication area, you can see I've signed in, test at test.com. Now, if I go up to the tables, it has migrated all that dummy data, if you like, placeholder data actually into the database. And if I go into user roles, you can see here the role is user, but if I click on it, I can set it to admin. If I go back over into Lovable, so we can go to the admin dashboard, and here we go. We have a fully featured tools directory where you can go in and add new products, add their details, and update the listings. So there we go. So to recap here, our application is pretty well, fully functional in terms of a minimum viable product. It is ready to ship. We could get this out online. 
We can update all our listings. We can add new listings. We could have affiliate links. We could add a banner in here to advertise or, you know, pay X amount of dollars to have a featured product. But to get it actually out online, I'll do that now and show you how to, how to finish this off. So what you need to do is go up to the GitHub icon, click on it, and we want to sync our project with GitHub. Okay, so in a couple of clicks, you're all hooked up to GitHub. If you've got any questions on that, just drop them in the comments. What we want to do next is hook this up to Netlify. Now, if you don't know what Netlify is, just head to netlify.com. It's totally free. Just get an account and then you can import that GitHub project into Netlify. And that's how we publish it online. And that's also how we add a custom domain. So I've just imported it. You can see I had to give it a new name here. So it's called Ninja Tools at netlify.app. With a bit of luck, I can click on it and it should be live. And here it is. So we have just built a complete app in about 10 minutes. I haven't cut anything out of this video. The only stuff I have sort of summarized a bit is some of the connections. So it just saves time on editing the video because of all the credentials. But if you've got any questions at all on how to use Lovable, Netlify, GitHub, or Superbase to get your project online, drop them on the, in the comments or click on the first link in the description and join my online ninja community and I'll help you out. I look forward to catching you in the next one.